So you might already know what a seven segment display is. It's basically one of these. It's seven segments that can either light up or, or, or don't light up. What is the opposite word of light up? The segments can be either on or off. Um, and by turning certain segments on, you can form, for example, numbers. It works kind of like this. Um, you have this is this is this this is one digit, and and there are seven segments. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And in order to represent, for example, the number four, you would uh, turn this segment on, this segment on, this and that segment on, and you have the number four. And my idea today is that we'll create a big, I mean somewhat big, we'll create a supersized segment display and you can just copy this one digit and create four digits to make for example a clock. We'll be using NeoPixels in order to illuminate the uh, segments that we want to turn on. And what I've done is that I've 3D printed each segment. So each segment consists of two parts basically. You have this, this is the uh, bottom part or kind of the base uh, and now you have this this will work as kind of a diffusion um, and it's it's the top inside of the space we'll put uh, three neopixels well uh, the top somewhat snugly fits uh, in the base we'll run some cables through these holes so that the um, uh, the neopixels are connected together uh, forming uh, the whole digit. Uh, what we'll have is a microcontroller of some sort. I'll be probably be using an Arduino. Uh, you could use a Raspberry Pi or, or, or something else. We'll run some cables uh, into this first segment. We'll connect each segment to, 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 to another one um, and we'll flow some something like this. Um, and then out of this one. And these are the three cables you can use to hook up uh, more digits, basically just hooking them up to the first one and just connect them in serial. Um, so basically this is, the, this is the flow of the pixel strip. Um, but let's get right into it. So these are all the parts that we need uh, to do one uh, digit or one seven segment display. You have seven bases, you have uh, seven tops or diffusers, uh, some cables, this is gonna be ground power and signal. These are links uh, that we'll use to uh, link the segments together. They will lock them into place uh, and they also serve as kind of a channel for uh, the cables. We can actually run the cables through this uh, piece of plastic uh, to kind of hide away the cables. And you have these two uh, kind of special links. They will uh, obviously reside in the middle. So in the end it will look a little something like this. Uh, but the first thing we're going to do is uh, focus on the basis. Um, and what we need to do is to uh, stick these uh, NeoPixel strips to, to the base plate. Uh, I'll be using super glue uh, to kind of achieve this. Um, it's easy and, and fast. <laughs> seven segments um, glued uh, together with the NeoPixels. We'll uh, hook them up together with uh, some cables. Uh, we'll solder the cables together. We'll use these link to hide the cables and also uh, kind of lock all the segments together uh, so that it's like one solid piece in the end. Now that we have cables in all the links, we'll start kind of assembling the, uh, the actual uh, seven segment display. Here we go.
um, the uh, seven segment display is now fully um, soldered. Soldered? Soldered. All the NeoPixel strips are connected. Um, there are no wires visible on the back except for the kind of the entry point uh, that will hook up to the Arduino. What is left to do is basically to just cover um, each segment uh, with the tops and then uh, write some code and hopefully, fingers crossed, it will work. simple Arduino script to kind of that just counts 0 to 9 uh, and lights up the correct segments on this uh, seven segment display uh, to kind of represent those numbers. It might look better in reality than it does uh, on the video. And I'm I'm a bit surprised that it worked actually. I'm pretty happy with the result. Um, I, I can't move this around because it would, like, I could, wow. Oh. I mean, it's a bit flaky. Once I kind of solder the uh, first cables together, everything should be uh, working just fine. It looks pretty decent. I will upload all of the uh, 3D models on Thingiverse or something so that you can download it for yourself and uh, have a go at it. If you enjoyed this build, um, please like the video, subscribe and share with your friends. If you decide to make one of these, like the code and everything is in, is in the description. Mm. Yeah. See you next time.